Hi, my name is Devesh Shan and I am a research scholar at NCRI TIFR. I am last year I joined PhD student in NCRI 2021. Hi, I am Aditya and I am a final year PhD student. My name is Shilpa Shashikumar. I am a final year PhD student. Hi, this is Minazur Rahman. So I am a finishing PhD student here at NCRI. Hello everyone, I am Rubino Khatun, currently a postdoctoral fellow at uh, NCRI TIFR. Have you observed the night sky and wondered why some white dots flicker? In the hustle and bustle of the world, it all becomes very confusing. Should you pursue your passion or just jump onto the bandwagon of money? Hi, with my fellow mates here at NCRA TIF I want to learn the language of the universe to try to understand where it all began and where it is going. The thing about astrophysics is that, you know, uh, for every kid, we all have this fascination with the night sky. I was going to go to the solar system and I was going to go to the solar system. So, I was going to go to the solar system and I was going to go to the sun. It was very interesting and cool. An astronomer observes astronomical objects like stars, planets, and galaxies. Anything outside the field of Earth. By intermittent observations, or doing the theory. My name is Chandi Bodhi. I work on radio emissions from active galactic nuclei, which are black hole materials which are accreting the medium surrounding them. Agent or another galaxies in the centers are already bright to compact to light regions region. Sana. If it uh, is also basically electromagnetic spectrum in the pala wave bands from uh, energy in the form of radiation emit you. So, I'm working on radio observations in sources. Well, my PhD uh, was concerned about understanding plasma sort of neutron stars. So, generally, a natural extension to this effect would be to actually consider plasma processes around other compact objects, like black holes, like white dwarfs. And I would like to pursue avenues in which I can study these objects under this general plasma physical conditions. My research project involves the uh, understanding of galaxy evolution, active galaxy nuclei and as well as supermassive black holes. So I, what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to find connection between all these three, how this active galaxy nuclei uh, affecting the galaxy as well as uh, how galaxies have evolved from old age to current. I observe uh, with the GMRT uh, galaxies which are very very far away from us and at the core of it what I try to do is I try to measure how much atomic gas there is in these galaxies and that is actually very important to our understanding of, of the cosmos. So if you think of what we know about stars which we can see with our naked eyes as well as with optical telescopes. Uh, we know about stars and star formation maybe when the universe was just about 5% of its age today. I'm Shumon Chatterjee. I'm at the National Center for Radio Astrophysics. I'm a postdoctoral fellow. 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 Other than 21 cm signal. Shei shop jayga theke jee signal gulo ashe. Shei gulo ki kino be amar detect kibabo. Ibang shei gulo amader cosmology samporke ki ibang early universe samporke ki jana be. Ami prosan to shei niche niye kash kore. Interesting, right? Are you ready to dive into this amazing field which lies in the intersection of science and technology? Good thing about science is that it's not just confined to your textbooks, right? So science is a process rather than a given state of facts. So if you are given anything in life, you can take a few steps back and if you have that training, you can actually dissect and see the stuff for itself. I would say that never refrain yourself from asking for help or never Stop yourself from trying to find out more things if you want to. 